An elementary school in Bartlett, Tennessee has been forced to shut down a popular Bible club after receiving complaints from an anti-religion group. The Bible club at Altruria, I beg your pardon, elementary school, was optional and was held prior to normal school hours, but the Freedom From Religion Foundation threatened to sue, saying it was unconstitutional because the club was led by school district employees and was therefore, quote, really just religious instruction by public school officials. The club has been disbanded. Dan Barker is the co-president of the Freedom From Religion Foundation, and he joins us tonight. So you shut down a club for first graders studying the Bible. Do you feel, you feel good about that? Yes, we do. In fact, we didn't shut it down. After getting the letter that we sent, the school itself looked at the legal precedent and looked at the reasoning, and they decided to stop the illegal Bible club being led by teachers in the public schools. So there is no threat of a lawsuit here. The school did the right thing. Well, you, bully, you bullied them into it, um, bullied in, into them canceling a club for first graders. Um, but what's the constitutional problem with this? School district employees have a right to express their views. Well, Tucker, you know there's a difference between free speech and government speech. When those teachers are at the school, they are the government. And the children who go to that school, they look up to They're told to respect those teachers, and, and, the, and the students do. But there are families who wish to protect their children from the, the depravity and the violence that's in the Bible. And they don't think the school should be taking sides on such a personal religious issue. And in but, fact, but the, the Supreme school, Court has already addressed this issue. Yes, it, it, it so, has, and not in the way that you suggest. This did not take place during school hours. They were not working in their capacity as teachers. Some people may not have liked it, but some people don't like a lot of things. That's different from being unconstitutional. People have a right to express their religious views. That's enshrined in the First Amendment. What's prohibited is a government establishment of religion, as you know. And so that class was a government establishment of religion because those teachers were the teachers of those students in that school, on that property. If those teachers wanted to have a Bible study in their private homes on Saturday, that's America. That's wonderful. But for the teachers in the school, and the Supreme Court has ruled on this, saying that it's voluntary does not make it legal, especially in the elementary grades. The school did the right thing, and the school should be applauded for giving a lesson to the students about the importance of our Constitution and the importance of keeping state and church separate well, so that we can all believe. Lesson, the lesson that aggressive interest groups with lawyers can force you to do what they want you to do. And that's an important lesson, I agree, because that's how America now runs, thanks to people like you. My question, though, well, is would it have been okay with you if it had been an atheist group meeting with teachers? Well, don't blame us. You should blame the Supreme Court because these issues have already been decided by the court that's, as far back that's, as that's 1948. Not that's, not, that's not true. Yes, it is true. Okay. Yes, it is true. It, if you would read our letter, please Tucker. Answer, please, I have read your letter, and I disagree with your interpretation of it. But let me just ask, get back to the question I just asked. Would it have been okay with you if an atheist club was meeting off hours on a voluntary basis at the school? If it was led by students, no. We would protest that just as well. And you can bet that Christian parents would protest if atheist teachers were, were having a Bible club teaching the children how horrible that brutal alpha God is in the yeah. Bible who, they, who threatens violence and fire and a Jesus who talked about okay, beating slaves they, they and gouging out body it was parts. Slow, slow down there. It was slow down. What, wait a they, minute. They might, Talk, why should I slow may, down? This, they, they may be because you're getting onto an answer. Look, you're attacking the Bible. I get you're obviously angry about your childhood or the Bible or whatever. I get it. That's implied. You run the Freedom From Religion group. We already know that. You don't need to slag it on this show. I want to talk about the principles Yeah, but how often involved. do you get to, how often, Tucker, do you get to hear informed criticism of the Bible? You rarely get to hear that. It's been pushed to these kids like it's a loving book, but it's, it's full of fire and violence. I don't think violence. this, is, don't think this world... is informed criticism. Look, I want to have a conversation with you about what you did and about whether you were representing the Constitution when you did it or you were just flexing your muscle as a bully who runs a highly aggressive interest group. And so my question to you is, how is any group where faith is involved different from a Bible study group? There was a feminist group. There are certain articles of faith for feminists. Why is that different? It's not different. People have a right to freely associate and say what they think, and you're preventing them from exercising that right. Because those teachers are the government. We don't have the separation of feminism and state in our country, but we do have enshrined in our Constitution, the First Amendment, that separates religion and government. It we can talk about other things. You can have a chess Amendment? club. It doesn't separate. Have it you read the government. First Amendment, Tucker? Of course I have. I do this for a living. Congress shall, 
make it shall not establish a religion. The state can't make a religion. I get it. That is very different from that's what you're saying. That's not what it says. That's not what it says, Tucker. Have you read it? It says Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting yeah, the free exercise thereof. Well, that's exactly you what and I have said. free exercise. You and I have free exercise, Tucker, but one thing you and I cannot do is ask the government to settle the argument. You see okay. how uncomfortable you but got when I was criticizing acting, the Bible? It's nobody a, is asking the government to settle the argument. These were employees in their off hours talking about these were things teachers. that they personally believed. You don't forfeit your First Amendment rights or any of your constitutional rights just because you have worked for the government. Like, you know that. Yes, this has been settled yes, again and you again, do. but you are a zealot. And the idea that the Bible is being read to kids bugs you, and so you flex your muscle and wreck this little kid's club, and you're proud of it. And I just think well, it's don't, weird. Well, thank you, but don't blame us. Blame the Supreme Court. When right, okay. The letter that we sent to the school explained very carefully okay. why your reasoning is wrong, Tucker. You don't Thanks, get Dan. it. Thanks, Dan. I do get it. I read the letter, and you're wrong.